Walker, Walker, Union Stalker! While demonstrators marched on the state capitol in Madison, Wisconsin state troopers were sent out Thursday to the doorsteps of some of the missing Democratic senators in hopes of finding at least one who would come back to allow a vote on a measure to curb the power of public employee unions. Only one senator is all it takes for the bill to be taken up. Many union members outside the Capitol were outspoken on Governor Scott Walker. You know, if he's got his baseball bat in there, like he said he did yesterday on the telephone, tell him which side of the building I'm on and bring it out here, you know. <laughs> Let him come. I'm just trying to make a living, and I believe as everybody else, when he's done, if he gets done what he wants with, uh, with the school teachers and the collective bargaining, he's coming after me next. I work hard to make a living. I don't need a guy that makes more money than me telling me that I make too much money. Meanwhile, inside the Capitol building, the state assembly appeared close to voting on the union rights bill after more than two straight days of filibustering. So far, it's unclear exactly when that vote will occur. We're here to protect our bargaining rights. We've already conceded in wages for the governor. He says this is all about uh, budgets and stuff. We've conceded already what he's requested, but he's going after our bargaining rights as a group. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker has repeatedly warned that if the budget bill does not pass by Friday, the state will miss a deadline to refinance $165 million of debt and will be forced to start issuing layoff notices next week. The battleground has been delivered right here to the state of Wisconsin against working class Americans. We're going to lose our collective bargaining rights. We won't have a right anymore. Wisconsin Democratic Senator John Erpenbach, who was in the Chicago area, said all 14 senators remained outside of Wisconsin on Thursday morning and would not return until Republican Governor Scott Walker was willing to compromise. This is Robert Ray, Associated Press, Madison, Wisconsin.